Today's episode is brought to you by Subscribe. Subscribe to keep the channel alive. And don't forget to ring the bell. This is North Georgia Pete telling you, ring the bell. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the San Pedro Mountain Railroad. Today is quick and easy colo day part two. If you remember, we took our foam uh, piece, cut it down to fit our coal car. And then we took it outside and did a little spray paint on it. A little bit of uh, gloss black, a little bit of flat black. And uh, this process ate a little texture into it, giving it kind of a rough coal looking texture. Now, I got kind of mixed results on this one. Um, I probably would have done this one over, but I decided I was going to use a different method. And here's what the results look like. So I'm going to use okay, uh, that's a method that I saw. I have Kim many Patterson projects show. going on, so I'm going to have and to it's take this one this way. And revealing my a cutting mat. I usually have five or six things going all at once, but I put them in these little uh, paper trays, keep all the ingredients together, keeps everything neat, organized, keeps the desk clean. Uh, that way I can keep seven, eight, nine, ten things going all at the same time. That's how I roll. So let's get started. Okay, let's make some black glue. First thing I need to do is take some white glue. Get just enough to do this one car. Should be a whole lot. But I want it pretty thick. That's just about right there. I'm gonna take some acrylic paint from Walmart $1. It's flat black. And get it to come out here. Should have been a hand model. I have nice hands, don't you think? And I just want a dab of it here to darken this up quite a bit. Because the sand sable material that I got from the dollar store is a little bit lighter than coal. So hopefully this will darken it up. Mix it up real good. This is the same way I make my paint colors. Just in a little palette like this. Just got a cheap uh, paintbrush. I'm going to brush this on pretty thick. So I'm going to take my foam load out and as you can see it didn't turn out too good it was, it's a little wavy the uh, process ate into it a little bit much but I'm hoping this stuff will fill in a lot of the gaps and fill it back out again so it'll look better if this turns out good I'm going to redo all my foam colos in this method you want to apply it liberally to the edges, not the sides, just the edges. Anywhere where you'll see the coal. And we'll fill in a lot of these gaps here where the paint ate away the foam. And fill it with, oops, fill it with this uh, sand sable material that I have in my container here. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on layer after layer. get every little nook and cranny of it laid on kind of thick there on the edges where I'm missing coal and hopefully this will build up make it look a lot better like a nice full car of coal I think if I get better at this I can do some waves in it because uh, most of the coal dispensers dispense that into the coal cars, you know, in waves. But this looks good. I'll try a little glue here, but that's not going to work. I want to switch to some just plain alcohol. And the alcohol will suck up this uh, glue and get it to adhere to the sand sable. Hope this works. I'm anxious to find out, so stay tuned. We'll see what happens. And there you have the finished product. I like the color, I like the texture. It adds some serious weight to the car, which is always nice. Really much improved. 
I wish that I had started off with a fresh piece of foam instead of going over the uh, shrunken uh, foam piece. It would have filled out some of the gaps in the car a little bit better. But overall, it's a lot uh, fuller looking. Um, it just turned out overall much better than the old process. So, what I think I'm going to do is take the old ones which are absolutely no comparison compared to the new ones and pull those thumbs out and re-carve them and start all over again rather than go over the uh, painted method with the sand sable so turned out really good if you have any questions or comments let me know I got a Facebook page called Santa Fe Railroad Modeling so like that page subscribe to this YouTube channel and if you uh, have any questions just let me know but yours will turn out better than mine because you'll learn from all of my mistakes so see y'all later goodbye thanks for watching